The vaccine rollout is slower than many expected. NBC4's Patrick Healy has that story. Major shakeup in the COVID vaccine distribution plan, an effort to get more doses into more arms more quickly. We clearly have enough vaccine at this point to begin to expand. Federal officials recommending states expand vaccination beyond high priority health care workers and long term care residents and open it up to everyone over age 65, everyone 16 to 64 with pre existing health conditions. California Health Secretary Dr. Mark Galley said the state's two vaccine advisory committees are now evaluating, but is optimistic. We believe that having more vaccine, inviting more to be vaccinated will allow California to go faster and quicker through our population and get that vaccine out of our freezers. Huge lines have appeared in Florida and some other states that had already loosened their vaccination prioritizing. In anticipation, San Diego opened Southern California's first large-scale vaccination site yesterday at Petco Park. Orange County plans to begin vaccinations tomorrow at Disneyland. And L.A. announced the former testing site at Dodger Stadium is now being converted to a vaccine center with an envisioned capacity of 12,000 doses. A day. It's about getting people vaccinated. The need to take action had become apparent. Vaccine shipments have been less than originally projected by Operation Warp Speed. Federal Health Secretary Azar points to state and local jurisdictions so far using only 9 of 25 million available first doses. So another change. Allocation to states will no longer be based only on population, but on how quickly doses are being administered. States getting two weeks notice. Not necessarily hurt many states, but will enhance the benefit to those that are actually getting vaccines done. And one more big change moving forward with what President-elect Joe Biden said he would do as soon as sworn in. Stop holding back vaccine for second doses and count on manufacturing to keep up with the need. UCLA epidemiologist Anne Ramoyne. I think that these are all very good steps moving forward to make the best use of the vaccine that we have. Now, to be clear, opening up the vaccine eligibility at this point for age 65 plus is only a federal recommendation. But Governor Newsom in just the past hour tweeted that the federal guidance is important, which is a pretty strong indicator that he will implement it. Now, I want to update you quickly on where we stand on, on COVID cases. Uh, the fact that the case rate is pretty much stabilized along with the hospital rate. Uh, Dr. Galley said today that the state is looking at the possibility of lifting the state at home orders for certain regions of the state. He promised more on that coming up in the next days. But what remains the the big concern is the death rate remains very high. 288 in L.A. the past day, 548 in the state. And so now overall, the state surpassing 30,000 deaths during this pandemic, a total that's exceeded only by New York. Reporting live, Patrick Healy, NBC4 News. Carolyn. All right, Patrick, thank you for that.